everybody. I know it's been forever since I've posted anything. My apologies. I got sick and then I didn't really feel like doing anything. And you know how that goes. Sometimes we're super unmotivated, especially with all the crap that's going on in the world these days. But anyway, I'm getting back at it. So today we have a comeback video. Welcome back to the Tamatry Yoga Hour with me, Tamara. I'm glad that you're here. I hope that you enjoy it. This is gonna be a full length video, so a longer practice, kind of similar to that first beginner's video that I posted. And today's gonna be all about heart opening. So get ready, make sure that you've got your clean mat, you've got your clean, calm space. If you wanna light some incense or some Palo Santo or put on a little bit of essential oil. That's what I did before I got started. It smells so good. Go for it, grab your water, get on those comfy yoga clothes, and get ready to start. I will meet you back here on the mat, standing up. All right, so we are on our mats, near the top of our mat, standing up. Nice and calm, we're just gonna center ourselves for a few breaths over the next minute or so. I want you to really root through your feet, but allow the legs and the rest of the body to relax as you close your eyes. If closing your eyes challenges your balance too much, feel free to just stare a few feet in front of you at the floor and kind of space out. Arms and shoulders are relaxed. Your leg muscles are relaxed. Your face is soft. You're going to start to focus on your breath. For the first few breaths, I want you to take really nice, deep cleansing breaths. So inhale big through your nose. Exhale big from your mouth. Two more just like that. Good. Allow your breath to find its natural rhythm. As you breathe in and out through your nose. And while you breathe here, mentally scan your body from head to toe. Just checking in, noticing if you have any places of tension or discomfort, any areas that you want to be a little extra mindful of, even a little extra patient with as you practice today. Bring your palms together at your heart center, gently pressing your thumbs into your sternum. And take this moment to set your intention or dedication for our practice today. If nothing comes to mind, just be fully present with how you're feeling right here, right now. Once you're ready, relax your arms down to your sides, flood your eyes open. Sort of bend into each knee a little bit, come up onto the ball of your feet. And then we're gonna take a nice long stretch. So reach the arms overhead, interlace your fingers, flip the palms up, inhale, reach even higher. Exhale, a little stretch over to the right. Inhale, up to the center. Exhale, over to the left. Inhale up to the center again. Exhale, relax your arms down. Give your shoulders big rolls towards the back of the mat. Then big rolls towards the front. And then gently stretch your neck from one shoulder over to the other. You might get some snaps, crackles, and pops in there. That's totally fine. Good. We'll take three sun breaths from here. So begin in your mountain pose. Look down at your feet. Make sure that your feet are near the top of your mat, hip width apart, parallel to each other. Nice, strong legs, neutral pelvis. Pull the navel in, lengthen the tailbone down. Arms powering down at your sides, palms open. Heart lifted, crown of your head reaching top. 
Take that first sun breath. Inhale, reach the arms up and over, look up. Exhale, palms together to your heart center. Two more, just like that. Move with the breath. On this last one, hold your palms to your heart center. Pause here. You should still be engaging every muscle in your body as you stand. Maybe you feel a little shake in your legs. Keep pulling the navel in. Keep breathing. Good, and then come to goal post arms. Open the arms up, spread the fingers wide. And we're gonna super exaggerate these standing cat cows now. So with the next inhale, I want you to open the chest, bring the elbows back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift your gaze, and on your exhale, you're gonna round your spine, tuck your chin, bring the elbows together, lower to a forward fold. And inhale, open it all back up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the shoulder blades, Exhale, round it all back in. Continue with your breath. One or two more of these. And on that last standing cat, as you fold it all in, go ahead and fold it all the way down for a forward fold. Catch on to opposite elbows. Let that upper body melt towards the floor. Shift your weight from one foot to the other as you sway from side to side. Good. Tuck the chin, bend the knees deeper. And as slowly as you can, rise up, rounding out your spine. Arms down to your sides. Your feet didn't move, so you're still in that perfect position for mountain pose at the top of your mat. Nice and strong body. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, diving forward, nice and slow. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, plant your hands. Exhale, step back to plank. Hold your plank for three full breaths. If you need, modify, lower your knees. Wrists are directly below the shoulders. Fingers are spread wide. We're pulling the navel in and we're pressing back through our heels. We have one more inhale here. And with that exhale, you lower down to your mat. Untuck the toes. Inhale, lift your head and heart. Exhale, tuck your toes, press your hips up, downward dog, pedal out your feet. Walk your dog, bending one knee generously and pulling that opposite heel down towards the mat. Good. One more inhale here. Exhale, walk your feet up to your hands, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach up, look up. Exhale, palms to your heart center. Inhale, strong and tall, reach up. Exhale, dive it forward, keep your knees soft. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, plant your hands. Exhale, step back for plank. Inhale, pull the navel in. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift your head and heart. Exhale, tuck your toes, press your hips up, downward dog. Good, we're gonna stay here for three full breaths. Be rooting through those fingertips. Feel free to bend your knees, reach your hips higher, and push the mat away from you. After that third breath, gently lower your knees to the mat. Untuck the toes, big toes touch, widen your knees further apart, and come down for a child's pose, resting. We only have two more breaths here, so make them really deep and even.
Good. Look up at your palms. And now I want you to slither your way down to your belly. I know it sounds weird, but just make your way down to your belly. Untuck the toes. Find yourself in Sphinx pose, palms down. Press down through the elbows and lift your heart. Pull the shoulders back. Pull your navel in. Press your toenails down into the mat, keeping your legs strong. Find one more inhale here. Exhale, relax it down. Arms can come up underneath your forehead. Wiggle your hips a little from side to side. If you need a sip of water, this is a great opportunity. We're gonna stay here for about three or four more breaths. Good. Your arms will find that goal post shape again while you're still down here on your stomach. And then you're gonna tint up onto your fingertips. Keep the elbows lifted away from the floor. And we're gonna dynamically move through some heart lifters. So inhale, lift your head and heart. And exhale, relax one cheek down to the mat. Inhale, lift it up to the center. Exhale, opposite cheek down. Continue with your breath. Give yourself one more lift to each cheek. And then you'll inhale, lift it up one last time. Hold it here. See if you can pull the shoulder blades down a little further. See if you can lift your fingertips up off of the floor. And one more inhale, exhale, relax. Wiggle your hips again from side to side. And now press yourself back to that child's pose. Maybe this time you can bring the knees together so your upper body rounds out over the top of your thighs, really countering that back bending. And sweep your arms behind you along your sides. Let the shoulders melt towards the mat, releasing all effort here. Reach the palms out in front of you, looking up at them. Feel free to widen the knees a little further apart this time. We're gonna get a little tricep stretch. So bring your palms together, keep the elbows glued to your mat, forehead down, and then bend at the elbows, bringing your thumbs to the base of your head or the back of your neck. And you should feel a stretch in your triceps. If you don't feel anything here, just walk the elbows a little further up the mat but make sure you're not hurting yourself or overdoing it. It should just be nice and gentle stretch. Breathe into that space between your shoulder blades. Good, relax the palms back down. Look up at them, their shoulder width apart. Fingers are spread wide. Take a deep inhale, pull the navel in. Exhale, tuck your toes, press your hips up, downward dog. Beautiful. Listen carefully, we're gonna inhale here. And exhale, walk your hands to your feet, forward fold at the back of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. With that inhale, walk the palms to the top of the mat, plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift the head and heart. Exhale, tuck the toes, press the hips up, downward dog. Two breaths. One more inhale here. Exhale, walk the hands to the back of the mat again, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale, walk your palms to the top of the mat. Plank. Hold the plank here. Shoulders above wrist. Belly button pulled in. With that next inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift your head and heart. This time, press through the hands. Extend the arms. Pull the shoulders back. Reach the heart towards the front of the mat. Exhale, tuck your toes. Press your hips up. Downward dog. Good. Inhale, pull the navel in. Exhale, walk your feet up to your hands, top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Relax here. Upper body melts towards the floor again. Remember, if you've still got tension in your low back at this point, Bend your knees deeper. It releases the extra tension in the low back. It makes the forward fold a little more accessible. There is no shame in bending those knees. Good, inhale to rise, reach up, look up. Exhale, palms to your heart center. Check in with your breath and your body. Notice how you feel. Notice if you need to slow the breath down. Notice if you need a sip of water. Good, take one more inhale through your nose. Exhale, big sigh from your mouth. Excellent. Arms down to your sides, palms open. Check in with your feet. Maybe you ventured a little further back. If so, step up a little closer. Legs are strong, belly button zipped in and up, crown of your head reaching tall. Inhale your arms overhead. Exhale, chair, bend your knees, lower your hips. Inhale here. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, plant your hands. Exhale, step back for plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift your head and heart. Exhale, tuck your toes, press your hips up. Good. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, that leg up. Exhale, knee left elbow. Inhale up one more time. Exhale, step that foot to the top of your mat. Hands should be framing your right foot. You're in this low lunge and you're taking time to make sure that your knee stacks directly above your ankle and doesn't track past it. Spiral the left heel down. As you inhale, rise into warrior two. Open the arms and hips away from each other. We're bending into our right knee. We're gazing over our right fingertips. Shoulders roll back and down, heart lift. And then I want you to actively press through both feet as if you're trying to rip your mat in half. Good. Give yourself three or four more breaths here. One more inhale. With that exhale, we cartwheel the palms down to the mat. Shift to the toes with that back foot. Sweep that right foot back to meet the left in plank. Inhale, shift it forward. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift your head and heart. Exhale, tuck your toes, press your hips up. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale up, exhale, step it to the top of the mat. Pause, take time to shift the hands to frame that left foot to make sure that knee is above the ankle. Maybe even catch your breath, no shame. <laughs> Pick all the weird things off your mat. Spiral your right heel down. Inhale, rise into that warrior two. Arms and hips are open. Gazing over your left fingertips, belly button pulled in, shoulders rolling back and down. 
and ripping that mat in half with your legs as you ground down each foot. Give yourself three more full breaths here. One more inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your palms to frame that left foot at the top of the mat. Shift to the toes on that back foot. Left foot meets the right in plank. Inhale, shift it forward. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift the head and heart. Exhale, tuck your toes, press your hips up, downward dog. Good, let's lower to our knees and press our hips back. Take a little break in child's pose, however long you need. Slow your breath down. Deep inhale through your nose. Big exhale from your mouth. Good. We're gonna find ourselves in a tabletop. So press up to your hands and knees. Make sure your wrists are stacked below your shoulders. Your fingers are spread wide. Your knees directly below your hip bones, hip width apart. We're gonna get a little funky here. You might be familiar with something called fire hydrants. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start warming up those glutes and those hips. So with that left foot, go ahead and tuck the toes under, flex that left foot. And with your next inhale, fire hydrant that left leg out and exhale, bring it back down. Do five of those total. After that fifth one, we're gonna switch it out and get the right leg. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. Five on this side. Good. Then you're gonna make your way down to your belly again. Bring your arms back behind you. Rest your forehead to the mat. We're gonna do a lift with just the lower part of our bodies here. So that means with all 10 toes pointing and reaching towards the back of your mat, you're gonna inhale and lift the tops of your feet up. Exhale, relax them down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Continue with your breath. Inhaling to lift, exhaling to lower, keeping the forehead or one cheek glued to the mat, and really lengthening the legs each time you lift and reach. Think about internally rotating the legs in towards each other too. Good. That next time that you inhale and make that lift, hold it here. If you can, breathe. You can keep them just like this, or if you want to challenge, you can swim your feet. And relax them down. Whoo, wiggle your hips a little from side to side. Go ahead and bend your right knee and catch onto the top of your right foot. Now. First, this is gonna be a nice passive stretch. So you're gonna be pulling that right heel in towards your bottom with your hand. Give yourself just two or three breaths here. And then I want you to make it active. I want you to engage that quad. That means you're gonna start pressing your foot into your hand. Give yourself three or four breaths here. Good, and then go back to that passive. Gently relax that thigh, pull the heel in with the hand. Feel that nice stretch. And carefully, gently release that right foot back down to the mat. Beautiful. 
Now we're gonna do the same thing with the left leg. Bend that left knee, touch onto the top of the left foot. First it's passive. As we get that nice quad stretch, pulling the heel in towards the bottom. Two more breaths with that passive stretch. Then I want you to make it active. Press the top of the foot into the hand. Feel your quad engage. Four breaths here. Excellent, make it passive again. Relax, pull the heel in as best as you can. Get that good stretch. and gently release top of the foot back to the mat if you'd like bring your arms up underneath your forehead again wiggle those hips and take a few deep restful breaths here arms come down to your sides palms up now this time instead of only making that lift with the tops of our feet we're gonna lift everything up for a full locust pose but we're doing it dynamically three times before you have the option to hold I emphasize the word option because you don't have to hold it if it doesn't feel good for you and you don't like it you'll just come back down and rest when you're ready Inhale, lift, head, shoulders, tops of the feet up off the mat. Exhale, relax it down. Two more of those, moving with your breath. Good, if you like it, inhale up one more time. Hold it here as you breathe. Maybe bring the palms to face each other. Maybe interlace your fingers, squeezing the shoulder blades closer together. Point those toes, lift, lift, lift. Shine your heart towards the front of the mat. One more inhale here. Exhale, relax it down. Wiggle those hips again. Bring your palms up under your shoulders and press your hips back to your heels, a child's pose. Again, if you can, bring the knees together. Allow your torso to round over the tops of your legs. Big, deep breaths. Draw your breath all the way down your spine, all the way to your tailbone. Reach the palms out in front. 
Inhale, pulse the navel in. Exhale, tuck your toes, press your hips up. One more inhale here. Exhale, walk your feet up to your hands, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, chair, lower the hips, bend the knees. Palms together at the heart center, relax your shoulders. Your navel's pulling in, your weight is in your heels. See if you can lower your hips a little more. One more inhale. Exhale, fold it forward all the way. Relax. Whichever variation of forward fold you prefer. And we inhale to reach it up and overhead. Exhale, palms to your heart center. Good. Check in with your breath, your body. Matt somehow shifted around. Let's fix that. Excellent. And then we're going to lower down to our bottom. Make sure your hips are in the middle of your mat. Stand your legs out in front of you nice and long. Sit up tall. Flex the toes in. It's fine to keep a bend in your knees. Inhale your arms overhead. And exhale, folding forward, reaching for anywhere that you can on your legs. Maybe it's your shins. Maybe it's your ankles. Maybe you can catch onto the bottom of your feet. I want you to inhale and lengthen your spine. Create space in between each vertebrae. And exhale, you can fold a little deeper. Breathe here. Maybe that belly button sinks in towards your low spine. Good. Inhale as you sit up. Bring the bottom of your feet together, knees to the sides. Make sure that your shoulders roll back and down. Your heart is lifted. Deep inhale here. And with that exhale, you fold forward as gently or as deeply as you'd like. Remember, this is your body, your practice. You don't have to do what I do. You might be able to fold deeper, you might not. That's fine. You might prefer to pull your heels in a little closer all up to you. Modify as needed. Good. Inhale as you sit up. Bring the knees together. Feet flatten. Make sure you've still got plenty of space behind you on your mat. If not, scoot the hips up a little more. If you're low back, still has some pain or if you have a past tailbone injury, keep your palms back here the entire time for this next pose. But if everything feels great here, nice and strong, your palms come up underneath your thighs, shoulders roll back, your heart lifts, and when you're ready, you start to balance on the tripod of your tailbone and your sit bones or your femurs. Lift the heels up a little bit, keep your heart lifted. If you want to lift those heels higher, go for it. If you want to bring your arms out in front, palms open, totally fine, a little more challenging. Remember, if you need help, hands come behind you for some support. You still get the entire pose and all of its benefits, you're just taking a little weight out of it. Maybe you want to straighten your legs all the way, this is fine. Maybe you want to come to half boat, gently rolling down to your sacrum and lowering halfway. Even I'm shaking, so if you're shaking, don't worry, it's good means we're working those muscles. We're going to stay for two more breaths if we can. One more deep inhale. Challenge as you exhale, lower down as slow as you can. Keep breathing. Work that core. And once you make it all the way down, woo, stretch your arms overhead, point your toes. Smile because you did it. The hardest parts are over. Hug your knees in towards your chest. A good squeeze. Lift your head and shoulders up. Pull the shoulders away from your earlobes. Lengthen the back of your neck. Relax your head and shoulders down. 
Rock a little from side to side. <sighs> Cup your hands over your kneecaps. Circle the knees around a few times in one direction. And then a few times in the other. Lower the feet to the mat, knees stay bent. Cross your right ankle over top of your left thigh. Feet are flexed as you lift your left foot up and you find the depth of the stretch here that works for you. Great, one more deep inhale. Exhale, release. Cross the left ankle over top of the right thigh. Feet are flexed as you lift that right foot up. Again, you find the depth of the stretch that works for you. Notice one hip is usually a little tighter than the other. Totally fine, totally normal. That's why we practice the same things on both sides of the body. So that eventually, maybe one day, there won't be that big of a difference in feeling. Good. One more inhale here. Exhale, release. Bring your heels in about an inch or two away from your bottom, not touching. Keep your feet hip width apart in line with your hip bones, all 10 toes pointing towards the bottom of the mat. Arms down at your sides, palms down. Press down through the bottoms of your feet. Feel your legs fire up. With that next inhale, peel your hips up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, slowly lower down, one vertebrae at a time. Think of this as a massage for your spine. As you inhale all the way up each vertebrae, and then as you exhale, gently massaging down each vertebrae. Two more times, dynamically with your breath. This is your opportunity to hold your bridge. Keep your gaze up towards the ceiling. We don't want to turn our head when we're in any position like this. You could inch your shoulder blades a little closer together. Press your hips up even higher. Keep grounding down through your feet. Keep the inner thighs engaged towards each other. Feel free to find a bind as you interlace your fingers underneath. If wheel is in your practice, this is a beautiful opportunity for you to take one. Wheel's not in my practice, so I am not going to take it, and I'm not gonna feel bad or embarrassed about it either, because that's just how my body is. Keep breathing. When you're ready to come out of this, you just slowly lower down. Your tailbone will be the last thing to hit the mat, and you hug your knees in. I'm going to stay up for three more breaths. got one more inhale and with that exhale I slowly lower down my tailbone's the last thing that hits the mat I hug my knees in big big squeeze again lifting the head and shoulders stretching the back of the neck I lower down arms out to my sides for me it's the shape of a goal post because I don't have all the space in the world to stretch my arms all the way out if you want to tee your arms, you go for it. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, let the knees fall to the left side of your mat for a low belly twist. You'll gaze over your right shoulder, and if you want to deepen the twist, your left hand comes to the outside of your right knee to pull it in just a little closer. Soften your torso. And feel free to close your eyes and just relax for these next few breaths here. Good, 
of using an inhale, you center your knees back up and you exhale them over to the right side of your mat. Gaze over that left shoulder and maybe your right hand comes to the outside of your left knee to pull it in a little closer. Perhaps you close your eyes, soften your torso, relax and just chest rise. With that exhale, your shoulders melt into the mat. Soften your jaw. Relax your forehead. And just breathe. As you wiggle your fingers and toes, maybe give yourself another nice long stretch. 
reaching your arms overhead. Um, before you gently roll over to one side, resting your head on your bicep and curling your knees in towards your chest. Staying here for a moment, maybe coming back to that intention or dedication you set at the beginning of class simply observing how you feel right now. as you press yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Sit up nice and tall. Rest your palms on your knees or your thighs. Relax your shoulders. Soften your face. Take another deep inhale through your nose. Full exhale from your mouth. Bring your palms together at your heart center, gently pressing your thumbs into your sternum. Take this time to thank yourself for showing up today, for putting forth your wonderful efforts toward our practice, and for serving your mind and your body so well. Namaste. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I really hope that you enjoyed this full length video. It's basically like being in class with me. It's exactly how it goes. If you're ever in Round Rock and you're a member of LA Fitness, come see me, I'll teach you. Um, all right, well, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I promise I'm gonna try harder to start uploading more videos. My bad, I'm only human. We all make mistakes, right? Uh, anyway. So come back for more, check back, subscribe, do whatever you gotta do, and I will see you next time. Bye.